On the one hand, you have supporters saying a bill could help 200,000 low-income Georgians seeking health care. On the other, you have critics saying, why stop when you could have even more people? Doug Richards is at the state capitol with the back and forth on a measure that passed the state senate, representing a shift for Republicans. For the last six years, Georgia's Republican leadership has refused to expand Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act. With the Senate vote today, that hard line officially softened. What we then pick up with is what the Affordable Care Act already has, which is subsidies. The Republican bill would authorize the state to request federal money for health care and health insurance under a tangle of federal laws, including Obamacare. It does not authorize a request for Medicaid expansion, which Republicans have refused to do. And Democrats say this bill won't do enough covering fewer than half the people who could benefit from Medicaid expansion. And I don't think Kemp Care, I don't think this plan should be a plan that covers less people for more money. But Republicans say federal Medicaid expansion would still come with a state price tag as yet unknown. And they say their alternative would let the state custom design its own health care plan while paying for it with federal money. We realize that one size does not fit, fit all in health care, and we can't just expand the federal model. The bill won a party line vote in the Georgia Senate, and Governor Kemp declared a partial victory afterward. I think it's the right thing to do, and that's what Georgians want, and that's what we did in the Senate today, and I'm very grateful for that. It took the governor's bill only 13 days to get through the Senate. It will likely have similar speed going through the House and getting to the governor's desk. About an hour ago,